Today is the first day of the month of Purushottam. Purushottam is Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This month is a particular time that comes every few years where the Lord manifests Himself, manifests special opportunities to reconnect with Him. It's like the month of Kartik is considered to be specially blessed by Srimati Radharani to give devotion for any spiritual activities we perform during that month. Purushottam is a special month that the Supreme Personality of Godhead presides over. And in this month gives very special opportunities. Whatever devotional activities are sincerely performed, Krishna will give special reciprocation and give special increased benefits. Just to give us opportunities. If he made every month like that, we wouldn't take it seriously. Actually, in one sense, every month is like that. Every moment is like that. But Krishna gives special months where he gives special benedictions and special Puranic stories. So we take something serious. <laughs> and we take it maybe more serious. But actually, whatever is here in Purushottam month or whatever is here in Kartik month, if we're really serious at every moment, anywhere we are in the world, at any time, we can take shelter of Krishna. Just like with Bhishma, he waited for the auspicious time when the sun was entering into the northern hemisphere, the Makara Sankranti, to pass away. And in Bhagavad Gita, there are different explanations of how yogis choose a particular time. The Prabhupada says, for a devotee, because they're always trying to remember Krishna, because they're always immersed in Krishna consciousness, because they're intense to utilize every precious moment for Krishna's service, it doesn't matter. Krishna's with them. So some people, ritualistic people, they engage in sins, or impious activities, or they may be pious, but they're just lethargic about their spiritual activities, and they wait till Kartik or Purushottam, then they get serious, because it's a special benediction. That's good, but better and best is when we understand every single moment Krishna, Purushottam, is there for us. But to help us what we should be doing every moment of every day for our whole life is intensely taking shelter of Krishna and trying to increase our sadhana. Krishna wants us to improve. We're not willing to do it every moment, which he's instructing us. Manmana bhavamad bhatto, always think of me. Not just during Purushottamas, always think of me. <laughs> but to get that intense urgency, such benedictions come is in the month of Purushottam, which is actually a great benediction. There will be for anyone who sincerely takes shelter of the Lord and follows the principles to attentively chant the holy names or increase their chanting of the holy names, there will be special benediction. In Vrindavan, there are many temples and they, their tradition is all the festivals of the whole year can be celebrated during Purushottamas. And it's non different than that day. So they'll, one temple, they'll just choose any day in Purushottamas and say, we're going to celebrate John Mastami again. And it's considered to be the day of John Mastami. The TT and everything, it's right there. And another day Radhastami, and another day Govardhan Puja, and another day Holi, another day Gaur Purnima, another day Ram Nomi, another day Nityananda Trayodasi. They just have festivals every day, and it's considered to be that day. 
That's the way many temples do because they, this month is so special to access and connect again to Krishna. So let us take advantage and focus and increase our sadhana and increase our awareness and increase our humility and most of all increase our, our service attitude, our enthusiasm to please Krishna. And in this spirit, to chant the holy names from our hearts. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.